today. From MetLife Stadium in New Jersey. This is Met Football on EA Sports. It's the New York Jets taking on the Miami Dolphins. Well, we are about a $50 cab ride away from Midtown Manhattan at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Today, we've got an AFC East matchup between the Miami Dolphins and the New York Jets. And a welcome. Welcome in, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gaughton, and Charles, so much gets made about offensive comparisons. Here's a matchup where the defenses may just take center stage. Yeah, we're usually talking about guys scoring touchdowns. How about the guys who prevent them and change the momentum of the game when they take the ball away? I love those ball hawks in the secondary. People after my own heart. The Dolphins take the field with Tua Tungavailoa, their quarterback from Alabama at the helm. He wanted to talk about a driven player partner. This guy is absolutely that person. He doesn't just have goals in this game. He wants to be remembered among the best play position, and he treats every game as an audition for that. It's a lofty goal to set for yourself, but we've seen his drive lead to some impressive games from him. Perhaps another one is in store today. Moster to first down carry. This was lined up only getting him a Second down. They suspected it was a power play up the middle coming out, and boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. And he powered his way up past the 30. Then he really played this call. They're always hoping it's going to break big. It can go the distance. And be in a nice game like that. You're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now, because usually... Oh, now he's scrapped. He lost the football. And it's scooped up by the Jets. And he will return this one to the 30-yard line. Oh, Second and goal. The play 
so they're able to get in that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to hit every drive with one point. Both quarterbacks are just as good as they can, right? PAT, that's the goal. New York Jets for their second drive. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And, and normally, I'm warning against getting complacent just because they scored the last time now. First and ten upcoming. And this one nearly picked off. Yeah, kind of surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but get away it does, and it's second down. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. Five yards, now it's third and five. 
And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. And they'll bring him down one yard shy after a pickup of four. But a good play is made on defense. Oftentimes, leverage is the key to everything. Defensive line not getting turned. All the other guys making sure they're in the right spot. And on that play, they were able to stop him short of the first down. And I'm not sure he got there. Did they stop him? They did. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And the Dolphins get the football in great field position. A running on first down is Moster, but he can only manage a yard, and that's about it before he's tackled. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. From the gun, a run with Moster. And he'll get three down to the 34-yard line. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Going to the air, tongue of Iloa. That's complete to Mostert out of the backfield. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. We can make this one pretty simple. Walked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? The kick by Sanders is good. And they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. He might be being set up here for a busy ball game. Already two kicks here in the first quarter, and he's knocked both through the post. And for now, you know they'll be happy getting those three points. But what they really want is to find a way for him to kick extra points instead of field goals. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there. Call it the 26. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. They're coming off a fourth down gamble that last drive that backfired CD, but really not as badly as it could. Their defense, oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Xavier Howard, and the Dolphins are going to take possession of the football. After the turnover, it's Tua. Flush to his right. They'll get this into the hands of Mostert. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. Steps away to his left. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, want to try and keep bodies in front of him and I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. A third field goal in the first half not what they're looking for as they come up on third down. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw and they will eventually get him down but he's inside the five all the way to the three. After one a one point game seven to six. He is going nowhere in a hurry as he is going to lose yardage here in a big way. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Looking to pass. Tua. That is incomplete. He was looking for Tyreek Hill that time. But now it's third and goal. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. And he'll just get rid of it. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. Sanders' kick is good, and the Dolphins have taken the lead. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, 
That's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. Now Hall to start the drive. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. White. Over the middle, it's complete. So the completion good for six yards. And now we've got a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They'll run with Hall. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 47. Davis, nice grab. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. That is one heck of a catch right there. Got his eye on it the whole way. And able to make the grab one-handed. Very nicely done. And for a nice chunk of yardage, too. On first and ten, it's Hall. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line. Kept their shoulders square and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that game. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. 58 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Well, if they continue to run the football this strong right up the middle, I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well right at them and right up the middle. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Carter straight ahead. Nine yards on the play there, and it sets him up first and goal. Some good, strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. Carter will take this one in. Touchdown, New York. That almost looked too easy. Thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. The Jets kick team out now to boot this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take it to a hit, and the ball is out. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. He's going to look deep down the field. He's got a man complete. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Running their plays over and over during the week can often get robotic for an offense. But on game day, they can often flow smoothly, as that one just did. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Is this a hold, or did they rough the quarterback? Well, that flag puts them on their heels a little bit more defensively as the officials walk it upfield. Yeah, and they can blame the officials all they want, but bottom line, it's their own fault because, to me, that was an avoidable call. Stay focused and avoid major mistakes like that. And they get to him quickly here as he stops right around the 13. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Play action, now it's Tua. Gets this one to Hill. So eight yards on the completion there, and that will bring up third and one. Good throw, good catch. 
catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. Durham Smythe, a five-yard touchdown. And the Dolphins have regained the lead. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And the lead is now two. So that drive spanned five plays. And it ends with a touchdown for the Dolphins. This fielded right at the goal line. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on both sides, moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to see all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all. But right now, both these teams are trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down, and I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. Straight ahead is home. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. And how about that on third down? So many different directions an offense can go. Throw it out wide to the receivers, get it to their speedy running back. They changed up everything and handed it to the fullback, and he surprised them all and picked up a first down. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they throw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60 per Touchdown, Jets! Corey Davis, 47 yards. And the Jets have yet again retaken the lead. And a nice job by him to catch the slant and then navigate and break free. And receivers love slant routes because it gets the ball in their hands so quickly and oftentimes on the move. So when they're on the move like that, then they get to use their best asset, which is usually their speed. And their speed sometimes, like this instance, can take them into the end zone. Zerline good with a PAT. And the lead is up to five. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it's finished off by a New York Jets touchdown. The Jets kick team out now to boot this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially. So a net gain of one there. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. Well, the football changing hands here, and as this offense takes a field, Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive last time out. They found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that may be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage, but also keep the defense from anticipating what's up next. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. Two are going to throw. And that is incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them 
back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. Fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 15-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Jets' offense will be backed up to start this drive as they've got it first and 10. They'll start on the ground. Hall, and he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. On first down, it's White. And he slings one that's incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route. And that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Ball on a give up the middle. And he's got a good gain of seven up to the 37. But this play sequence was really kind of called in reverse. Incomplete pass on first and 10. Nice run on second and 10 when probably everyone was expecting them to throw the football. Now if you're the defense, what are going to do on third down? You're a little off balance. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Brandon, they're still in the lead, but momentum's certainly been going the opposite direction. So to me, that's a really important pickup there on third down. Try and regain some confidence, and you're right. They need to stem the tide a little bit. That certainly helped. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. And hang on here. We've got an injured player, and that's the running back, Brees Hall. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. A reminder coming up here at halftime. We'll ship you off to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman will have first half highlights and analysis from a back and forth first half that we've seen. On first and 10, it's Carter to the 36 yard line. Stop there. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three yard gain. Steps away. And he finds a man with a crossing round. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Love the play call that time. Love the design. You put three tight ends on the field. That screams jumbo set. Running formation to a defense, right? No, they go play action, and defense gets confused for just a split second. And next thing you know, completion for good yardage. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Another tote for Carter. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. They'll run with Carter. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Give him three on the game there, second and goal. Now another timeout called for by as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Second down and goal. White. And it's caught. Touchdown. Tyler Conklin with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Jets will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. And that's certainly an important score right there because they gave themselves a two-score cushion heading towards halftime. Now you got to force the other team out of their comfort zone, and it changes the way you approach the second half as well. How you want to do things on offense, and your defense feels much better too, having that lead. Zerline connects on the extra point, and it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it ends with a Jet touchdown. 
The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And Charles, you're down multiple scores, less than a minute left here. But with that deficit, they've got to try to at least work their way into field goal range to try to muster something out of this drive. And I'm going to go ahead and date myself one more time because I'm going to quote an old Smokey and the Bandit lyric. They've got a long way to go and a short time to get there. But they still have time to get it done. So I'm looking forward to watching them mount this drive and see if they can get some points out of it. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Here's Tua. Got a man. It's Waddle complete. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Here's Tungvailoa on first and 10, forced out to his left. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. From just shy of midfield, Tua getting this out to the flat, Mostert. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. And this will be spotted on the other side of the field. It's a 61-yard attempt. And that one will be no good. He never had it online. It's well wide to the left. And that will keep this a 12-point game. Wow, partner, it's almost a little jarring to see a holder set up on the other side of midfield. I haven't brought out my binoculars to make sure on that one. But that is showing an awful lot of confidence in a kicker to try and hit from 61 yards, and this one winds up no good. Zerline's kick is up and through, and it will extend their lead even further. as just a one-play drive and then three points tacked on to the end of it. And Charles, his name etched in the NFL record books. Just the second field goal ever made from 66 yards as he ties Justin Tucker's NFL record. And everything had to go right for that field goal to be converted. The snap, the hold, the protection, all had to be perfect. No wind working against you, and he nails that one. Congratulations on an incredible kick. All right, BG, thanks very much, and welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has certainly been one-sided to this point. It's a two-touchdown difference as the teams have already come back out onto the field for the second half. So let's get you back out as well to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And the Jets set to receive this third quarter kickoff, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in the second half from the six. And all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football, and this is picked up by the Dolphins, and they will set up shop with outstanding field position in the red zone at the 17-yard line. Now Tua just going to bat this forward on the end around. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. From the gun, it's Tua. Escaping the pressure right. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Cedric Wilson, a seven-yard touchdown.
touchdown grab. And the Dolphins get a bit closer. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And this is back to an eight-point game. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. Still enjoying the lead here in the third quarter despite their defense giving up that last touchdown. Now they'll see if they can get the equalizer here on this drive. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Here's White. Eluding the pressure right. Now White lost the football. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And this is brought all the way back. A fumble recovery and taken to the house for a Miami touchdown. The defense more than did its job. Now the offense is summoned onto the field as they'll go for two. It's a run with Moster. And he's not going to get there. So they come up empty on the two-point conversion, and they are unable to tie up this football game. They made the decision to go for two. They didn't get it. They remained down by two points. So they have kicked it there. Third quarter, I'm okay with it. Maybe first or second, you don't. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, I'm, I'm, again, I keep coming back to I don't like to chase a lot of points. Yeah. But I also don't know what kicking an extra point being down one does for me. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll take this one up to about the 13. 109 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling in. That incompletion certainly makes this upcoming third down a little bit more crucial. They need to find the right play to convert here and maybe start to tamp down a little bit of momentum. The other side is starting to gain. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. That good for 19 and a first down. It's been an excellent day for him running the football, no doubt, as he continues to soar well past 100 yards. Yeah, it almost feels like he can just grab his briefcase and head home after putting in a full day's work at the office, doesn't it? From the 32 now, here's first and 10. White looks to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. He did a fine job there of not hitting it before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, you've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play, and it'll be a third and about 13. Bring it. Bring it. To throw, White. And this is broken up. Now the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. A 47-yard punt, maybe a couple on the return. And they will take over first and 10. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. I'm guessing you wouldn't have minded being a fly on the wall at halftime because they were struggling in that first half. Down double digits, now they're right back in this thing. So whatever was said apparently worked. And let's make sure if we're going to be a fly on the wall that we're high up on the wall because I know I always talk about it being clinical at the half, you know, less emotion, more execution. But every now and then, this is an emotional game. Sure. Someone's got to come in and stir some things up. And I wouldn't be surprised if maybe a few benches got overturned and the halftime water ended up hitting the floor. Well, whatever happened, it's working right now. Tua sets up to pass it. Open net is Waddle complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. And able to get this. 
this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A Miami first down, that one going for a gain of 11. Two are going to tap this forward on the jet sweep. And he'll take it across midfield down into jet territory. That's a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on it before he could get much out of it. Up the middle they go with Mostert. And he's going to get this down close to a first at about the Jets' 44. After a gain of five, they'll wind up being about a length of the football short here on third down. Now Tua on the bootleg here. And that is incomplete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. And here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds, and they'll spot it right at the 20. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. First down, right back to Hall. He'll get this to about the 38. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. Well, let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. Two yards on the pickup there, and now it's third and four. I wouldn't be surprised to see the next step in utilizing this position to actually utilize more of a scat back in this spot because we saw the catch there, right? He made it, but he's a bigger, stronger guy, maybe not quite as elusive as maybe someone else you would put Yeah, in. didn't get the big yardage there. You might out of a smaller back. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 35. A handoff for Hall. And we'll follow his blockers there all the way down to 23. 57 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. Here's Hall again. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Now White on the move to its left. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. Oh, partner, just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. And he is going to have a Jets first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. Switch it up here and look to throw. This will be caught at about the five. Touchdown, Jets. Tyler Conklin, a 12-yard touchdown grab as his guys are able to extend their lead. And this is obviously quite a performance. And most of the time when we talk about someone putting a team on their back, I think we're talking about a, a guy who runs the football. In this case, it's a guy out wide catching it, and he's done exactly that, truly leading his team right now toward victory. Three touchdown catches. He's been the headliner. Zerline good with a PAT, and that makes this a nine-point game. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Pulls it in at the 13. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, still a good return. They'll start the drive right around the 37. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. The defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. And good run. 
running there is he'll take this all the way up to midfield. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. Now a play fake. Here's Tug of Iloa. Completes it to the tight end, Smythe. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. Coming up on second and seven. Throwing now is Chugga by Lowell. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. I know I spent a lot of time talking about how tight ends in a lot of cases now are pumped up wide receivers, but they're still big people. He used that frame right there to absorb a really big hit on him and held on to the ball. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. On first and ten, it's Mostert. And he's got four down inside the 20 to the 18. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Now Tua. His pass caught at the four. Touchdown, Dolphins. Cedric Wilson, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Dolphins are back within a score. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And the lead is down to two. So this drive spans seven plays, and it winds up in six points for the Dolphins. And wow, the fair catch was single for and taken inside the five-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Pretty important third-quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Ball again on second down. And some room to work. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. The 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Brees Hall, 95 yards. And the Jets will add on to their lead here in the final minute the third so their backs were against the wall deep back in their own territory and they run it all the way down into the end zone that takes a lot of coordination for an offensive team doesn't it because let's face it, it's really not a surprise that they're going to run in that situation backed up that close to their own end zone usually do call running plays trying to be safe instead it turns into an electrical run a bolt for your team and off he goes to the races No thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and he'll take over at the 25. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown. On their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific comes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. So both offenses come to life here in this third quarter as this is shaping up for a good finish. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Again, they'll run it with Mostert. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Now they'll throw with Tagovailoa. Dancing to his left. And that's caught inside the 30. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. That was a fantastic job of keeping that play alive. He had a chance to tuck it. I thought he might. They work on those situations all the time. This is coached. Being able to keep your eyes downfield, 
keep the play alive and not automatically run with the football? How about that lesson absorbed and it turned into a big play? They'll look to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. Raheem Mostert from four yards out. And the Dolphins have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Braxton Berrio selected to bring it out. And he stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee. Maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The New York set to take the field. And they've seen their lead nearly extinguished after that last score. But bottom line, they are still on top with the football. And a touchdown on this drive really put them in position A. The tackle made by Alandon Roberts. Ball again on second down. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Seven yards there and a first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yards. And the Jet first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. <laughs> on oh, second and nine. White rolling to his right. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 36. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. On the give, this is their fullback. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. This is where, you know, fourth quarter, you got the lead, you give it to the big guy defensively kind of sucks the will out of them, doesn't it? Because they don't want to tackle him right now this late in the game. But you say that with accusatory tones. I mean, <laughs> you know, but you're exactly right. I know it's not something we actually want to talk about, but as a defender, four quarters worth of trying to bring people down, four quarters worth of pounding, and now late in the game, here comes that big guy coming at you, and a lot of guys are wondering where they want to come up with it. That he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he's sacked. After the sack on first down, White. That is caught right at the 10-yard line. That one good for 17 as they're set up better now for third down. On third down, here's Hall. This is not going to be enough. Was in search of two yards and only got halfway there. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. It's a quarterback sneak. And I'm not sure he got there. Did they stop him? If they did, they'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And the Dolphins' defense is able to hold. Two and now on first down. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. He'll look to throw. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Out of the gun now on third down. He'll swing this out to Mostert. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. Here's Thomas Morstead now, standing just about on his own goal line. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. 
So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Jets will take over first and ten. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Back to throw. White throwing it in traffic there, and that's complete. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. All again on second down. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point in the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. White going to be caught by Davis. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Carter. And the Jets are going to be set up with a first and goal here as the tackle made at the nine. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about Completions, they are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Knight. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. They'll keep it on the ground. It's night. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. Up the middle they go. Knight. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Zonovan Knight. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Jets are able to build on fourth quarter lead well that was absolutely ideal for them wasn't it trying to solve this game away i think one of my kids just graduated in the amount of time they had the football that was absolutely impressive everybody wants those salt away the game drives what makes them successful well when you're able to mix run pass when you're able to control the football and stay ahead of the chains i'm using every cliche i know <laughs> but that's how you get it done because you're not taking negative plays and that way you're able to run what you want to run when you get a chance to call it. And they'll get down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He'd love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. A quick throw, knocked away, and incomplete. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back-to-back -back pretty big pass plays there. Bend but don't break, but are they bending too much? I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball, and you put up a token press. Make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time. Make it a little bit of resistance so they can't just run it right down your throat. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. 
Whether it's a touchdown or a field goal, whatever it is, they need to score quickly here on first down. Now Tua, that swung out to Moser. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Six yards left on second down. Here's Tua. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. Tug of Iloa. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. Sanders' kick is good, and that'll move him back within six now. Well, in a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner, because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. That one looks like he'll throw here. Open man here is Conklin. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. A play fake. Now White. And that is caught. It's Davis. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A gain there of 21 yards. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to perhaps salt this one away. And the 10-year bet knocks it to the goalpost. And that will make this a nine-point lead. So his second field goal of the game, and that could turn out to be the big one. Yeah, you have to make them score twice to beat you, and that's not impossible. But here in the fourth quarter, puts their backs clearly against the wall. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And that final kickoff concludes the ball game, partner, and... One side, a really nice win in this one. They were good on offense and on defense. And I'm guessing in the other locker room, partner, the head coach is just telling this team, hey, we didn't play well enough to keep it close enough where that one possession down the stretch might have given us an opportunity to win the game. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. It's a win for the Jets, as we say so long from MetLife Stadium.